Hello, everyone. I am Sally Blue Sister, and welcome to my turn to talk. Today is Monday, July the 19th, 2021. So happy Monday. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Okay, today um, I'm going to talk about something uh, that has been brought up to me um, in some of the comments. Um, for my show is um, black people and racism. And specifically, rather, uh, can black people be racist? You know, um, I think the answer is yes. I think uh, black people can be racist. I think uh, some black people are racist. And um, to take that a little further, I think that everyone has racism in them, even if it's just a tiny, 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 tiny bit. I think that some people um, have racism in them. I think that uh, people are racist against their um, own ethnic groups. Um, we see that with African Americans, uh, people of African descent, um, we see that. I think that you have people from um, African countries uh, such as Nigeria who look down on African Americans from America. You know, um, I think there are several African countries that look down on African Americans. Um, on the same token, I think African Americans look down on other people from African countries. I think African Americans look down, you know, on each other, you know. Um, and one thing that always comes up, no matter what, um, no matter what ethnic group you're from, be it African American, be it Chinese, um, India, it's always the color. The color always comes up. You know, um, in India, uh, you have the caste system. You know, and I know that there are some people from India, some Indians who look down on other Indians if, if they're darker. You know, what does your skin color have to do with your intelligence? What does your skin color have to do with what's, you know, what's, you know, up here? What's, you know, in your heart? Nothing. But we tend to look down on people, um, once again, here's that color thing. Here's that color thing again. Color, color, color. It's always, you know, it always has something to do with color. Always. You know, you have Italians, you know, that are, who discriminate against other Italians, you know? But in terms of Black people being racist, um, and I'm not talking about Black people being racist against their own color. I'm talking about uh, Black people being um, racist um, against other ethnic groups. And yes, I do think that we are. You know, I think some people are, you know, others. Maybe not so much. And when I was thinking about this and when I was looking up a couple of things and um, talking to uh, various people, um, I was wondering if historically, if that plays a part. Now, some people may say, Salad Blue Sister, 
you're playing the race card. You want to say, oh, because you all were slaves, you know, you're racist against white people and you hate white people because, you know, slavery and what have you. But when you go back and think about uh, some of the issues that Black people have faced for centuries. Does that play a part? Is that a reason? Not the reason, but is it a reason for us to be, be racist? I was talking to a gentleman, uh, Black, and I asked him um, if he were racist, because he's always saying white people this, white people that, white people this, white people that. And he came right out and he said, yes, I am. Okay. You know, I appreciate the honesty and, and the candor. And I asked him why. And um, he said, because white people have effed us over for so long, you know, that why can I not not like them? Why can I not hate them? Then he told me some of the things that he experienced. Not good, not good. And this was an older gentleman. He was um, in his 70s, late 70s. Um, and um, he was born in the South. And when I brought that up to another white person that I was talking to, they said, well, there, there you go right there. He was born in, in, in the South. He grew up in, in the South. That's why. Well, just because you grew up or were born in the South, that doesn't give, give you a pass. Because honestly, I don't understand white people in the South, some people in the South, I'm talking about white people, are racist or feel that they're entitled or feel that you know Black people are, are beneath them. You know Whether or not the South had slaves or not, so what? That doesn't make you better then, but we're getting off topic. But again, it, 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 it comes back to um, is there a historical reason why black people could be racist? Yeah, I've talked about the historical parts. Okay, um, the gentleman I was talking to, the older uh, African-American gentleman I was talking to, um, he was telling me about things that happened to him when he was in, when he grew up in, in the South. You know, I've had other people who, um, who grew up in the South who have told me about things that happened to them and are still happening to them living in the South. Okay, let's come up North. Let's look at Chicago the most segregated city in the North, the Northern South. You know, when you say someone is racist, it is a loaded statement. I've told people that I thought they were racist. And they would say, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. And then I would point out certain things that they would say or do. 
or the um, not just the programs you watch, but the ones you support and the ones you agree with. I'm sorry, but if you're agreeing with what Tucker Carlson on Fox News has to say, and every night it just seems to get worse and worse and the vitriol and the hatred just is just oozing from him, my opinion, and you're agreeing with it, I think you're racist. If you make comments like, statistics show that black people are the ones that are still more. Is it statistics that show it? Or is it the fact that black people have been stereotyped? And if you bring up the comment about black people, you know, having been stereotyped, um, for the last four or 500 years, Are we really these horrible people? Are we really these animals that people say we are? You know, I mean, are we really these, these, you know, you know, white, white people call us animals and what have you, but you look back and who's the one burning churches who's the ones lynching people dragging people out in the middle of the night sometimes during the day lynching people who's the one you know beating people just because of the color of, of their skin I'm not saying that black people haven't beaten up people we haven't lynched anybody i mean who who are the people who are screaming you know go back to africa not black people. You know, who are the people that um, have stores in black neighborhoods where they're selling, you know, a certain product that black people need, like for our hair, and we go into their stores in black neighborhoods and they're following us around and treating us, you know, not like a customer, but like a thief. And all we're trying to do is buy a product in their store. Not black people. Who supported, you know, that the races be separate? You go to this school and you, you go to that school. Not black people. Who had slaves in America? Not black people. So again, I say on a historical level, do we have the right to be racist? I mean, is that wrong with me to say that having a right to be racist? I don't know. All right, I'm trying something new here and I want to share a video and I hope I'm able to share it. So and I see Miss Deborah has shown up. Thank you, ma'am. So hopefully you can see this and we will see how this works. If not, I'll have to share it my usual way. Okay. This is Veronica Wells from AdamNoir.com, and today's Madam on the Street question is, can Black people be racist? Of course they can. Anyone can be racist. But what bothers me is when 
people are racist against your own kind. You know, so that to me, that's the biggest form of racism. Are you saying that, Deborah? You date your own race, you only want to date outside your race, or you feel that your 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 race is clearly beneath you. You know what I'm saying? And there's some people that's like that. They don't like dark too. Um, blacks is too dark, or blacks is too light, and they discriminate. Yes, they can be racist. Due to the fact that white people was racist first, that's why black people are racist. They taught us racism. They taught us separation. I mean, not racist, but like maybe we can be stereotypical. Um, just, I don't know, because I am. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not even going to lie. Why? Why is she? How, why can black people be racist? Because anybody is racist. Like, anybody in the world could be racist. It don't matter black or white. It's, it's just if you don't have the knowledge, you're racist. Like, you judge people, you're racist. Just chill out. They, they can be very racist sometimes, because, like, some of my friends, they, they just say, they stereotype, like, Spanish people and white people. They they can be, because they, they're they're stereotypical, too. I think everybody has their own stereotypes and prejudice, and... Regardless of race, even black people can be racist. We're the most racist. Because sometimes we don't even like our own kind. That's it for this edition of Madam on the Street. You can catch Madam on the Street on madamnoir.com. Okay. Hold on one second here. Let me take this down. All right. All right, so Miss Deborah, what did you think of that uh, video? Uh, did you agree? Did you disagree? Did you half and half? <laughs> what do you think? I believe everyone has has stereotyped races. I, 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 I just don't know because racism can go, I think we probably have more stereotypes than we do racism, I think. Uh, but we can be racist, like the young man said it's not that they taught us how to be racist but they did bring the separation of the two in with black and white which started this racism thing otherwise it wouldn't be like it is now uh separated by by color because even in the bible it's nations not color. Okay, so let me ask you this. Do you think some white people, mm -hmm. some Asians, uh, some, some, some Indians, before you came on the show, I was talking about how um, uh, Indians from India, they have their caste system where they think that lighter skinned Indians look down on darker skin, you know, whatever. Do you think that some white, Asian, Latino, um, uh, every race except for African-American or, uh, and I'm gonna say African-American, I don't mean people of African de de descent because I do believe that there are Nigerians who look down on African-Americans who think that they're better than us. I do believe that there are some people from Africa who think look down on African-Americans. But do you think that other races, um, but mainly white people, do you think they're taught to be racist? Sure. Okay, so do you think black people are taught to be racist? Sure. Okay, so you said, but you but you think using races, and I could have, have mis misunderstood you, are, are you saying that racist, to say that black people are racist is too strong of a word and we stereotype more as opposed to being racist? I think that, okay, if I heard you correctly, racism can be taught. And that's why I, I 
agree that it's just like anybody who's white supremacist or in the Klan, babies come here knowing nothing. Right. So they can pick that prejudice up just by being within that family and not even knowing the difference. Not until they're exposed to somebody else or something else who says, uh, hey, you know, this is, this is not right. I, mean, I went to see, when I was in the military, I was with this one girl. She was from Oregon and she never saw black people before. So, you know, in her mind, she already had that stereotype going. And I'm sure she had that racism going too because that's what they show on TV over and over and over again. We well, know you, you you brought up you brought up a, a good point because um when I was away at school um I had to do a project um with <laughs> these white girls and I ended up going over to their um to their sorority house mm -hmm. and not only when I you know knock on the door rang the doorbell and I walk in everybody's staring at me you know whatever but why do you think that is? Why does it seem like that? And I know not all black people have been exposed to, to white people, but, but why do you think that we have been exposed to white people more than they or even other races have been exposed to us? We, people are afraid of, of black folk. I mean, people, you know, if they don't want to want to be us for some reason, then then they're afraid of us. That's why they want all of these guns. See, that's why I want to be like the Wild Wild West. Let a black man have a gun, see how quick he go down. Let a white man hang out in Texas with a gun. Those rules aren't for us. But do you also think that we're exposed to white people more because we're forced to? And when I say, when I say we're forced to, I mean, um, Look at, you know, um, all the way through pretty much from slavery to, I'm saying all the way up to the 70s, where a lot of Black people, especially in the South, were, were domestics. So we had to interact in their world. You know, even when we go to work, we're going to work, we're going usually into their neighborhoods, you know, whatever. Um, working in an office building, usually full of white people, whatever. Whereas for them, they've never had to either, in order to survive, come around us or work in an um, office building full of black people. You know, they've never had to come over to our side. They never had to come into our world. Do you think that also has something to, to, to do with it? Started like that in the beginning. The colonizers, they were here. More of them than they were of everybody else. Oh, which reminds me, there is a book called Cast. Did you read that book? I did read, read okay. Cast. Yeah, it was it was it 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 was deep. You know, um so okay, so going back again to black people being racist. Um, do you think we, if black people are racist, do you think we have a right to be racist? I mean, that may sound ridiculous, but considering our history and what we've gone through and what we're still going through, do you think we have a right to be racist? Racism doesn't solve anything and it's wrong on anybody's behalf. Okay. Okay, so that's why we're imploding now because of this racism thing. This what do they call it? That made up construct of racism, mm -hmm. and uh, we're imploding. I mean, seriously, um, people hate you because of the color of your skin. I have to be more cautious when I'm going anywhere. We all absolutely. We 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 all, all do. We all do. I mean, you know, I I've said before, you know, you know, watch your back when you're, you know, in the car, but 
you have to watch your back when you're walking down the street because you don't know who the person who's coming towards you is, is going to do. You know, you don't know. When I'm out in the morning walking my dogs and everything, I'm looking at people kind of, you know, sideways, even though you tend to see the same people, you know, all the time during a certain time in the morning, whatever, but you're still kind of looking at them like, you know, you know, that little old, you know, grandmother could be the one that, you know, has a big KKK, you know, tattooed on her, on her shoulder. You know, oh, yeah, because this little dude, he rides around my neighborhood. He must be about 500, 550, and he has this tricycle, and he has Trump on the back of it. I want to hit him. You know, and, and, not, and not saying that, you know, everybody who, who voted for it, the former guy, I refuse to say his name, you know, um, but, you know, you just don't know. And that brings me to another question is, um, what do you think when black people are accused of playing the race card? When black people are accused of it? Mm -hmm. Like when, when, when white people will say, oh, here come black people, they're playing, playing the race card again, you know, everything's racist, you know, this thing is racist to them, this is racist to them, here black folks go there playing the, the, the race card. I mean, what do you think about that? Who do you think we learned that shit from? <laughs> Oh my you don't goodness. have to throw your cards out there. Hold them cards. <laughs> no, I mean, you you have... You, you, you. <laughs> Just no. like welfare. No, I mean, I mean you, 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 you make a very good point. And, you know, and, and, and welfare, you know, um, we got the stereotype of, you know, being the ones on welfare when Reagan made that infamous, you know, welfare queen comment you know, back in the 80s, and black people are not the main people on welfare. The main people nope. on welfare are actually white people. You know, so, you know, so, so again, it comes down to are black people racist? You know, because sometimes I ask myself that, that question, especially since I've been, been doing this show. It's like, you know, a lot of things I say, I'm like, you know, you know, we're being, you know, we're the lowest on the totem pole, which we are, you know, and, you know, but at the same time, it's like, am I a racist? Or am I just pointing out biases towards other people? Now, one thing I am not, and I truly be, believe this, I'm not a racist against my own people. I don't care if you're chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. I don't care if you like, 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 whatever, because to me, as a people, we all need to stand together. So that whole thing, light skin, dark, dark skin, whatever, because I have seen some brothers out there who is dark as I don't know what, and they are fine as hell. I mean, they are, you just want to put them on a stick and, you know, lick them. You know, whatever, because, you know, whatever. But then again, you know, I've seen the light-skinned brothers and, you know, and, and dark-skinned sisters and light-skinned sisters, you know, whatever. It's like, you know, we need to stop looking at each other as a, as a, as a race. We need to stop looking down on each other because of skin color, because according to everybody else, yes, I'm going to say the word, we're still niggas. So whether you're a light nigga or a dark, you know, it's like they still look at us like that. Well, also, um, rap videos perpetuated with the straight hair. Um, and, you know, when the women get the, the built-in padded ass, you know, like Kim Kardashian, uh, I, I, they want to talk about us, but they want to look like us. They want to talk about our thick lips, but they go and they get injection in their lips. Mm -hmm. Then they want to come back and tell you how ugly you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And then to even feel complete, you got them white girls who want to get with them black dudes, and then I feel some kind of way 
when those black dudes, they get successful, and in their mind, they're not successful unless they have a white woman. That bothers me. You know what? Um, you bring up another, you bring up another good point. <laughs> um, about black men who feel that they're not su successful unless you know they have a white woman on their arm. But when you look at it and you look back at history. The black men who were successful had a black woman on her arm, you know, and I'm not just talking about, you know, look at, you know, um, Barack o o Obama, you know, whatever. I'm talking about just everyday folk, you know, people who go to work every day, come home, you know, raise the family or maybe didn't raise a the family. They're just the, the, the two of them, whatever, you know, but you have a lot of successful you know, black men out here who have made it because you had a black woman on your arm who was, you know, who, who, who stuck by you and um, helped you and you in turn helped her. Until he find a girlfriend and then he gonna leave his wife to get with that little old young girl. Well, well not, 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 <laughs> you know, not, not, not all of them, you know, so, um, you know, so, but um, I don't know, because, you know, up until, you know, my father's death, you know, three, three, three years ago, my parents had been married for, 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 for 60 years, you know, and I, and I know a lot of other people that I grew up with around my neighborhood, um, whose parents we're together 60, 65 years. You know, when I go back home and I look at my block and what have you, and I'm talking to some people who are still there who go back and they visit their parents or they or they're living in the house now, whatever. You know, these are people whose whose parents were together. It was like, you know, you know, they, you know, they were two together and they raised a family and they had, you know, and they were successful, or whatever. You know, but um it bothers me when other races automatically look at black people and think that baby mama, they're not together, they're in prison. No. They do the same thing with Mexicans. When they hear a Mexican speaking in Spanish, they automatically think they're illegal. True, true. You know, and you know, why why is that you know but then again you look at at, at at education and um i've said it before deborah we are not stupid people and when i look at just some people that i've worked with over the years um in corporate america um people who had the degrees were black people but guess who was getting promoted? It wasn't us. Very rarely it is. And you're more educated than the person they're promoting. Yeah. And if we did get promoted. You ain't gonna get that kind of money. You know, you're not gonna get that kind of money and you had to fight for it. You know, um, I was working at a, um, um, this is where I met Shy Lady. Um, I was working at a telecommunications company, and um, um, <laughs> that place was a was a trip, you know. But every time you turn around, it was like we were the ones who knew everything. But every time you tried to post out, and they hire somebody else, usually white. And they want you to train them. So one time I posted for a position that I knew I was qualified for, overqualified for. The manager went and got some little white girl from another department, from another location, another department, and um, introduced her to everybody. 
turned around, looked at me and said, um, I'm going to need her to sit with you and you can train her and she can shadow you for about a month. Okay. What did I do? Trained her. What I did was, and see, um, one thing I learned, and this is just me, I was never one to call in sick whenever, you know, I don't feel like going to work, I'm calling sick. I would save my sick days and our sick days would roll over. So what I did was the day after she started, I got sick. Mm -hmm. I was sick for about three weeks. And um, I had to have a doctor's note. I got a doctor's note, went back to work. Oh, he was pissed. He was pissed, but he couldn't do anything to me because I had all my documentation. So I was there for two, two, two more days and this little girl, she didn't know, and I'm calling her a little girl because she was a little, little white girl. And um, she didn't know what she was doing. And, you know, they're trying to, we had these customers, you know, these big name customers, whatever. And she didn't know difference between circuits and all this other stuff. And I'm like, you know, okay. So I'm there for two, two more days. Oh, I got a relapse. I was out for about another week and a half. When I came back, he's pissed some more. I had my vacation days. That's when I didn't quit. That's when I went to HR and said that I um, couldn't work in that department. There were two other postings that were in two completely different the departments I posted for. Them. I was offered both jobs. I chose one and I left immediately. You're going to mess with me? I'm going to figure out a way to get back at you. You know, that's so, why it is like so so dumb to let us like in the kitchen and cook your food. That was just dumb. <laughs> you know, but okay, you 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 bring up another point. You you bring up another point. Okay, so we know that black people were cooking in the kitchen during slavery. Okay, you saw the movie The Help, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. We're in your kitchen cooking your food. We are in your home cleaning your home. But we're still not good enough to sit down in a restaurant next to you and eat. Whatever, we're still not, but we're cooking your food. It's like we're touching your food. We're, you know, putting all kinds of stuff in your food. We're in, in, in your house. And the Lord knows what we could have done to your house. But we're still not good enough can keep their kids. They're not good enough. You know, and, and, you know, and, you know, back during slave times, you had black women who were nursing white children from their breasts. Mm -hmm. You know, so you look at that, you say, okay, so your child is taking bodily fluid from me, but I'm still not good enough. And the child that you're nursing is going to grow up to beat my ass with a whip? Yep. Or sell one of my children from me? Yeah, while you're at work. Mm -hmm. You mean while I'm in the um, cotton field? Right. No, you're too light skinned. You wouldn't be in the field. No, I, 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 prob I probably would because if I had the same attitude that I had. I'd be in the field, <laughs> you know. Yep. I mean, you know, right. you know. I'm just saying, you know, it just, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. So that's when, when I say, do we have 
you know, and again, this is a messed up statement. I know it's a messed up statement when I say, do we have a right to be racist? Sure. You know, so, um, okay, let me ask you this one. Um, if you were, um, If you were walking down the street, and um, I, I, had, I had to write this uh, th this one down, okay. If you were walking down 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 the street, and you saw, um, say, a group of white men, white boys, whatever teenagers, yelling and screaming racial slurs at another black person, be it a child, an adult, male, female, whatever, and you were by yourself, would you intervene? Hell no. They'll mop up the ground with my ass. Okay. I so might go even, in my car and dial 911, but so even if it was so if it were a child, would you intervene? A child is different. A, a adult, that's that's different, you know. An adult, look, an adult, they probably bigger than me and they can take a bigger butt whooping than I can. Oh, no, no, no. I'm saying if but it were child, a, yeah. if, I'm saying if it were a child that needed help. Yeah, of course. Yeah, a child, of course. Okay, okay. okay. Because um, cause I, I've always said that um, I would help someone you know, whether it be a child or an adult, you know, that I would, because bottom line is, you know, I would want someone to help me. Um, I mean, okay, it depends, I mean, like if it's an older lady or an older gentleman or somebody was handicapped. Well, those, I mean, the okay, but, okay, but it could be someone who, you know, it, it could be a, 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 a 25 year old you know black guy or a 25 year old you know black black woman and she's being accosted you know by 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 these people and um accosted or they're talking loud and and yelling racial slurs okay okay let's okay let's let's take number one and number two number one she is surrounded by a group of, of white people and no matter what age they are and they and, and this group of people are hurling racist slurs when you first asked the question i was thinking like it was going to be a dude out there you know a guy i'm not getting in the middle of this guy uh a older person yeah i, I would so you're saying would, if it was if it were a, a black guy who was the one where they were being verbally assaulted you wouldn't you wouldn't help them no because i listened first to see if he had any kind of cognitive shit going on and then I might get over to the corner and do like my cousin. She just records. Okay. All right. So, so now what if what if this the same person, you know, again, mm -hmm. no matter what age they are, I'm 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 specifically saying no matter what age they are, they're being physically assaulted by this group of, of white people. Would you try to help them? Okay. This is my issue, and th and this is why I, I I have to be careful because see, there's so many people out here now with guns. You're right. You're right. So that's why I only that's why I hesitate. Okay. No, I mean no, and 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 you 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 make a a very good point, but on the reverse side of that, when there are so many people out here with guns, I think the same people who are doing the attacking need to be careful because you don't know if. The, the person who you're attacking has a gun. You know, you don't know who has the gun either, you know. And um, the reason why I asked the question is because I remember um, a couple of months ago in Los Angeles, there was this um, black girl 
black woman, she was in her early 20s walking with her friends. And um, they all had on masks. And they come up against this, they're walking down the street, minding their own business, and this group of white people who were protesting, mask, um, surrounded her. Now, she was the only black person surrounded her, not her white friends. Her white friends left her, which I thought was pretty, yes, tacky, period. You know, you, you all, you know, you're supposed to be your friend, whether you're black, white, whatever. I did not like the fact that they left her. And it got to the point where it was pushing and shoving and they were telling her, I don't know why people who don't like masks always tell you, take off your mask, take off your mask. And they, she had braids uh, in her hair and they start shoving her, pushing her, they rip off her mask, they start coughing on her. Um, you know, they're pulling her braids, you know, whatever. And again, it was just messed up. But it was this black woman, older. She got into the fray. Yeah, she got bruised up, whatever, and the police had to come, whatever. But, you know, I'm like, here are your friends that left you. Here's this older Black woman, you know, and minding her own business. And she sees somebody else, you know, getting verbally and physically abused and trying to get this girl out of there that she ends up getting hurt, you know, whatever. But <laughs> I don't know. I mean... I have always and that's said, a hard one too. That that's a hard one too. Because her friends left her. She was standing there alone. She was probably what in high school, junior high, or something like no, that. No, no, she no, no, she was in her early twenties. She was in her early twenties and her mm -hmm. friends left her like that. She didn't have no friends. You know, so you know, I I don't know. I I you know, I'm one of those people where if I'm at the grocery store mm -hmm. and I see somebody struggling to, you know, pick something up or if you're at Lowe's or Home, Home Depot and, you know, because it's, it's happened to me where I'm, you know, my husband's not with me, whatever, and I'm going out to my side. I'm lugging this big thing, trying to get it from the shopping cart and put it into the back of my car, whatever. And people have come over to me and say, do you need some help? And I'm one of those people who I will go and say, do you need some help? You uh -huh. know, and I would like to think that, you know, if I ever was in a situation like that, especially, you know, if that person is by themselves, yes, I may get, get, you know, bruised up, you know, yes, someone else should, you know, could possibly, you know, have a gun or whatever. But at the same time, it's like, what would I want someone to do for me? You know, um, yeah, you can go in and film. But at the same time, you know, I always say, what would I want someone to do for me? What would I want someone to do if it were my son out there? If it were my husband out there, you know, what would I want them to do for them? And I would want someone to help them. So, but that's just, um, uh, just me. Okay, I have another question for you, Miss Ms. Deborah. Uh -huh. um, and this is actually going to be a, 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 another show, so I'm not going to ask ask that question. <laughs> Wait, I'll do that one for another show. Okay, what do you think when um, white people say say to black people? And I guess this rolls up into the whole, you know, can black pe people be racist? Because I think black people um, are are being racist. Um, uh, a lot of it has to do with how we were treated on a historical uh, level, but if blacks would try harder, they would just be as successful as white people. If we would just try harder. Oh, 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 that one. I won't even respond to that one. I mean, you know, if they're around and they say things like that, I just don't respond because what one thing they fail to realize or they just see ignorant to, to even do some more research. Rosewood, you know, Tulsa Massacre. Whenever black folk get something, they get jealous and they want to bring it down. They want to burn it up. They want to kill people because they don't, they will never 
get there technologically the way Africans did, period, dot. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They'll 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 never get there. But I I I think it's I think it's so wrong because you you can't say that you can't judge you don't know what somebody's been through. But I know what they say, and that's just part of the the rhetoric. Because they don't care whenever folk build up something, whatever black folk, we, we leave y'all alone. Happy as can be. Y'all get jealous. What I was, look, I forget what show it was, but then this white guy went into this black man's house and he's like, what is a black man doing with a grand piano? Black people can't have grand pianos? <laughs> no, I mean, you know. <laughs> You are you are absolutely correct. Um, I remember when my mom was uh, teaching, and um, we lived in Chicago. She taught in 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 Indiana, and uh, there was this boy who was a prodigy. And I'm I'm going to say his name. His name was Graydon Goldsby. And uh, my mom was teaching sixth, sixth grade, you know, whatever. And um, um, when she met Gray, um, Grayton, um, he was having a difficult time at home, whatever. But he knew how to play the piano. And this boy in sixth, sixth grade, and you know, we were Grayton and I, you know, we were about the, 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 the same age, whatever. And he would just he would hear something and play it. He could play um, Mozart and Bach. And I mean, he played everything and, and anything. And all he wanted to do was to um, go to a school, you know, when he got older to help him, you know, with his piano, whatever. And I remember, um, I can't remember the reason why, but for one, some reason, my mother brought Graydon home. I don't know if she was taking him somewhere or whatever, because she was always taking him somewhere, you know, whatever. And um, he sat down at our piano and started playing. And my sister and I are looking at each other, and we're like, okay, so as soon as he leaves, she's going to make us sit down and start practicing, <laughs> practicing the piano. Oh, no. You know, because he was less, you know. But um, one day... Um, when my mom came home from uh -huh. work, she was upset. She was upset about grief because she and some other teachers had arranged for uh, someone from some prestigious school in, in Indiana to come and listen to him. Uh -huh. And the guy at first thought that that was not him playing, that he had some type of tape recorder or something rigged for him to be, be playing and made the comment that um, Black people don't play the piano. Mm -hmm. Now, Deborah, okay. there's a couple of things wrong with, with, with that statement. Number one, how stupid would it be to have a, a, a tape recorder or have someone else, whatever, playing for you? Because if you got into the school, um, wouldn't you be outed? <laughs> you know? I'm thinking. I'm you know, thinking, you know the fact that you're even going to say that Black people don't play the piano. And I'm like, hmm. I mean, just that whole statement and... It's like like black people don't swim. Black people do swim. You know, unfortunately, unfortunately, because swimming, like golf, was a sport that if you did take lessons, they were usually very expensive. And a lot of facilities were not put in black neighborhoods. neighborhoods. Right. 
you know, I mean, I, I remember when, when Arthur Ashe, you know, was teaching, you know, um, uh, black kids how to play tennis. Not that they didn't want to play or they could, they, they didn't have access to it. Like tennis, it was an expensive sport. Right. You had to buy everything. The back you know? cost a fortune. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and you look at um, uh, Serena and Venus Williams, it was like the fact that their father, you know, chose to, for the job that he had, chose to put money and, you know, really struggle for these girls to take tennis lessons and, you know, look look at where, where they are. But don't say that we can't or we don't. It's just that we don't have the opportunity. Why don't we have the opportunity? It's usually because of you. You know, as long as they can keep somebody down, as long as they can keep somebody lower than themselves, they're happy. You know, so, you know, you look at these golf clubs, you know, where, you know, no, no Jewish people, um, uh, hold on one second. Uh Um, where you have, um, you know, no, no Jewish people allowed, no black people allowed, but in those golf places, you know, in those, in those country clubs, who is there serving their food? Who's Mexican. cooking their food? The Mexicans, or the, the black people, whatever, but yet they, but yet they don't want us. We, we, we can't be, we're not good enough to be members, but we're good enough to cook your food, but we could possibly put something in it. Really? That's why they're not very smart. I mean, that just makes no sense. If I have to beat you and give you a different Bible, why do I want you cooking my food? I mean, it, I mean, it, I mean, it, 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 it just doesn't make any any sense. And you know, can you please explain the whole, um, uh? Jewish thing to me, like um, no clue. Wh- what is it where they say you know we don't want Jews or, or whatever you know? Because I'm like, well, aren't Jews closer to white folks than black folks? But then again, Jewish people are black, you know, born on the African continent. You know, so. right? That's what I tell my boss. She's Jewish. I was like. I had to summon my Hebrew, my my inner Hebrew ancestors today, just so I could get to work. She's like, "You stupid, get out of my office!" <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, Miss Deborah, you have given me several ideas for a show. Uh oh! And I did get get your um. I'm I'm really bad at reading personal email um but i i read uh business email but i'm really bad at reading um personal but i i, I did get get your emails whatever and you've given me and just now just from this conversation you've given me some really you know good I, ideas for for a topic but um i will say that yes black people can be racist i think a lot of it has to do with how we've been treated in the past present and will probably be treated in the future but i will give you the last word Thank you very much for the day. I had a great time. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank, thank, thank you um, very much. And um, tomorrow, hopefully, everyone else will be back. I know uh, a couple of people were on vacation. They went out of, went out of town, whatever. Um, but thank you for coming. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you very All much. Right. All right. See you later. I'm Bye-bye. celebrating. Bye. Bye.